to this uh, beautiful St. Ambrose Roman Catholic Parish. Happens to be my parish. So uh, on behalf of Monsignor Zmanic and the parishioners here, uh, welcome. Uh, I want to also say that if you know Monsignor Zmanic and you know kind of how his passion is for almost everything that he does, uh, this is a very important day for not only him but the parish because working alongside of St. Joseph's Learning Center, bringing it to this campus uh, is not only a wonderful day for St. Joseph's Learning Center, but also a wonderful day for Monsignor Zemanic and the parishioners here at St. Ambrose. I just said to Monsignor, what a perfect marriage of missions here, uh, here in Schuylkill Haven. And uh, it would have been a shame if this building after Blue Mountain stopped using it temporarily for the West Building would have gone uh, sitting here for too long. And what a great uh, step up for St. Joseph's Learning Center. We're gonna learn more about that in a moment. So let's begin by calling Father Jason Stokes, who is the pastor at St. Michael, the Archangel, and board member of St. Joseph's Learning Center to offer an invocation. As we place ourselves in the presence of Almighty God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you promised to be with us always, and we, pro we pray that you would be with us today at St. Joseph's Learning Center. We ask you to bless our going and our coming, our learning, and our time together. We ask you to protect our students from fear, we ask you to keep us safe, provide us with good friends, and bless this new campus that we come together to join together our mission of life, of education, and to prove that all people are important and held in the hands of God. We ask you to be with us throughout this school year so that we may grow in the love of God and the love of neighbor and continue to be disciples in his name. And we ask this as all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so very much, Father. A little bit about St. Joseph's Center. St. Joseph's Center for Special Learning was founded in November of 1955 by then Monsignor John E. Boyle of St. Patrick's Church, Potsdam. The school was originally located on Mahatongo Street, directly in front of Assumption BBM, and was known as the St. Joseph Day School. In 1987, the school relocated to their previous site on Norwegian Street in Potsdam, and now 68 years after first opening their doors, St. Joseph's Center for Special Learning is so excited to welcome you to their new campus here in Schuylkill Haven. This new facility is the former St. Ambrose Elementary School, which unfortunately closed in 2019. Sponsored by the Office of Education of the Diocese of Allentown, St. Joseph's Center for Special Learning is a Catholic not-for-profit special education center that offers academic, social, religious, and pre-vocational instruction to students ages 5 through 21 with intellectual and developmental disabilities. They also offer a state-licensed adult habilitation program for those over 21 who due to functional level are unable to join the workforce. The only Catholic school of its kind in Schuylkill County, St. Joseph's Center for Special Learning has a history of graduating students who have become faithful, active members of society. The small student to teacher ratio allows staff to give students the attention needed to learn, develop, and succeed while also instilling Christian values. St. Joseph's Center is open to students and adults of all faiths 
not just those that are Catholic. Over the past few years, St. Joseph's Center for Special Learning's reputation and success have grown incredibly through the region. And the chamber has watched that happen and applaud St. Joseph's for all the hard work that went into that. Although these factors have increased interest and enrollment, the size of their previous building had proven to be a challenge. To assure St. Joseph's Center future and reach can expand and benefit more children and adults, the decision was made to move to this St. Ambrose campus. With expanded capacity comes greater impact in the community. St. Joseph's Center for Special Learning is now poised for growing together and building forever, which is their theme for the 2023-2024 school year. It is my honor and my privilege to introduce Bob Gibbon, Principal of St. Joseph's Center for Special Learning with sincere congratulations. Thank you everyone. Can everyone hear me? Um, thank you everyone for showing up. This is a, a, a truly historic day. Um, Bob mentioned Monsignor Boyle. Uh, in 1955, if you can go back and think of our population in 1955, they were kept in institutions. They were kind of hidden away. If anybody has ever read the book To Kill a Mockingbird, our people were the Boo Radleys of the time. So we try every day, even to even in 2023, to show the progressiveness and the, and the advocacy for our individuals that Monsignor Boyle installed back in 1955. So that is a huge part of, of our identity. Um, this is, a, I never thought this would be coming. Um, you know, we all of us go to church and all of us read and, and we hear of words like, he, he works in mysterious ways. Um, if you would have talked to me in 20 years ago and said, Bob, you're gonna be the principal of a special needs school, I would have probably checked your temperature and got you to the ER, because I, there was, I, there was no way. If you said we were going to move an entire building into this school and grow to the way we did, again, he works in mysterious ways. About a year ago, the we were with our board and we started having this conversation of what next? Where are we gonna go? Where are we, where are we gonna do this? Are we going to just accept the fact that this is where we're gonna stay in Pottsville and, and stay at that size? And the wheels started turning and we started to get a, um, a strategic planning committee together. We started talking about things. We started getting feelers out and lo and behold, some of our, our board members, our parishioners of St. Ambrose, and Monsignor Zamanic, out of the blue, says, St. Joe's Center ever think about moving? And that was it. That, that was the end of the story. Uh, meetings with the diocese, meetings with the, the parish, um, our board, everybody coming together. This is what it culminated into. So I cannot thank my staff, my board of directors, our donors, all of you who support St. Joseph Center uh, through various ways, I, I thank you tremendously. Um, this is a, a passion and this is where I, I, I think we have just scratched the surface of special education and, and where we can go from here. Um, this, obviously this, this building offers us a lot of opportunity and a lot of areas of uh, further advancement. And you can see that if you go into, the, if anybody's been in our old school and you come to this school, you'll see that. Um, but I am I'm surrounded by amazing people on my staff, my board, my donors, uh, supporters, the parish, the community, everybody. I cannot thank you enough. Um, I hope you guys have the chance to come in and, and, and see the school at some point. Um, it is truly, truly remarkable. To give you a better or a different view, um, I would like to offer if our president of our board, Wayne Perry, would like to come up and say a few words. Monsignor wants me to give a homily. 
No, really, it's a, amazing the cooperation that's taken place. Um, I've been involved in the school probably for nine or ten years since my granddaughter, who's off to your right, uh, Debbie Ann, is over there. And I, I gave tours over the weekend to people. And I, I expressed not only my gratitude to St. Uh, Ambrose Parish and Messina for welcoming us with such open arms. I, I tell everybody, I've probably been through this school a thousand times giving tours and one more time this morning. And I rarely do that without leaving in tears. The staff here, if you uh, get to experience the unconditional love along with the education uh, that these students get, and then move up into our over 21 program where their daily life is just moved in such positive ways. You know, we all, um, we all hope we can make a difference in the world a little bit. Everybody involved in this place not only uh, makes a difference, they do it on steroids. So I am grateful for all of you showing up today to uh, welcome our ribbon cutting. And most of all, I thank the staff and the parish for making all this possible. That's all, thank you. Thank you, Wayne Herring. Wayne happens to be a high school classmate of mine. You can tell. It's not why he speaks so well. Well educated, well trained. So I always joke that we bring an entourage with us, and there's a lot of people from the community here today. You know, I see United Way, Setco, a lot of people here. But the chamber always rallies around these ribbon cuttings, and I couldn't be prouder. I couldn't be prouder of my staff, and I couldn't be prouder of how the chamber family works to support 800 plus members in succeeding not only for their businesses and their nonprofits, but in making the community a better place to live, work, and play. And this is what really it's about, building our youth up and making sure that they have the very best opportunity in life that God can present them with. So my first uh, call up this morning is going to be the chair of the Chamber Board of Directors, she knows a little bit about education. She happens to be the executive director of Alvernia Pottsville College Town, and of course the chair of our board now in her second month, almost going into her third month. Time flies when you're having fun. So it's my pleasure to introduce Cynthia Mench, chair of the Slipple Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. Cynthia.
Dave Argo was hoping to be back. He had some conflicts today and meetings. Unfortunately, he's not going to make it back, uh, I just learned. But on his behalf here to represent uh, Senator Dave Argo and another member of the Schuylkill Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors for a long time, my pleasure to introduce Mary Beth Doherty. Mary Beth. So next, it's my pleasure, unfortunately, too, uh, Tim Twardzik is not able to be here today. He is our new state representative in the 123rd, well, he was 123rd, his district changed, and now reaches down further into southern Schuylkill County. So state rep, Tim Twardzik, great supporter of our ribbon cuttings, could not be here today, but we have the next best alternative, and that's his representative, Tanya Cartwright, who never wants to speak, but I always made him speak, so. <laughs> He happens to be a tremendous agricultural leader in our community, a farmer, and it's my pleasure to introduce Commissioner Barron Boots Hetherington. Boots. Thanks, Robert. Uh, just want to say congratulations to Bob and the staff. Obviously, you folks provide a much needed, uh, much appreciated service to not only uh, children, but also uh, adults with special needs, special learning. Uh, kind of hits home to me because I have a nephew out in Colorado Springs uh, who's a Down syndrome baby and uh, he actually goes to work every day because of a situation like this here where he's able to give him some training and be part of society. I also have a, ne a nephew out in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, excuse me, in uh, Oregon who was a uh, adopted Russian baby and he was a fetal alcohol syndrome baby. So Max also has learning disabilities but he does go to work every day and provides some for society. So. Thank you so much for what you do and keep on doing. Obviously, she does for a long time, and I have a much nicer facility to work with, so <laughs> congratulations. I'd like to point out that he called him Robert and Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so the next gentleman doesn't really need an introduction because truly he's home, even though he was originally from St. Clair. Everybody in Southern Schuylkill County knows him. He's a former mayor of the borough of Schuylkill Haven, uh, a three-term and growing county commissioner uh, here in Schuylkill County. And um, I don't know that there's too many people in the borough of Schuylkill Haven that brings more passion and 
visionary ideas. He loves this town. He loves everything that happens around this town. Of course, he represents all of us, 143,000 people as a county commissioner, but it's my pleasure to introduce a good friend uh, for a long time, Commissioner Gary Pass. It's a great day. We usually, my, my good friend that departed from us, uh, Frank Stoudemire, used to say it's a great day in Schuylkill County. And it definitely is with this facility. And especially, welcome to the Schuylkill Haven area. We're really <laughs> proud that we see this facility that's going to continue to grow and take care of individuals with special needs. Again, like uh, my colleague, uh, Commissioner Hetherington said, our family had that the same thing through all our lives because my sister had Down syndrome and needed special special needs. And the services that were provided to her in this county were out, out, out enormous. I'll tell you what, it's the care and, and the devotion. And, and the thing is, as you look at these individuals, there's God's special people. God's special people that were put on this earth and everybody has a reason why they're here and it's up to us to make sure that they get the good quality of life through young and old. So again, on behalf of myself and all the citizens that we serve here in Schuylkill County, thank you for very much of what you did for over 50 years and I believe you'll be here for 50 more, again, doing what you do in a great service uh, to the community and to some great children and adults. So thank you again. Takes a good woman to straighten you out, especially when she's the executive vice vice president of the chamber. So Samantha aptly put it, and I know this, that we're truly not in the borough of Schuylkill Haven at the moment. We're in North Manheim Township. So now that I'm correcting that, is there anyone here from North Manheim Township that would like to speak? Would you, anybody want to bring greetings from North Manheim? Please, come forward. And I sincerely apologize. Thank you. Got it. There's no 